with the huge numbers of IEDs in Afghanistan, the death of people like Olaf Schmidt and films like Hurt Locker, the profile of the bomb disposal expert has arguably never been higher, but their needs are even greater. Well now, a new charity has just been launched, which will not only help the teams on the front line, but the families back home. Earlier today, I spoke to the chief executive of Felix Fund, Holly Davies, and I began by asking her why the bomb disposal experts needed their own charity. Well, um, bomb disposal experts do receive some excellent support from other military charities. We're very grateful for that and we, we do want that to continue. Um, but they are ways in which bomb disposal experts work and unique pressures that they face that mean um, they need some specialist help. Um, and that's what we're trying, the gap we're trying to fill. Just describe what those unique pressures are. Well, um, bomb disposal experts see some, I mean, all, all servicemen see some horrid things in Afghanistan, but um, I think bomb disposal experts get quite a lot of it. They have to be the first to investigate the scenes of explosions where men, women and children have been killed. And that's kind of you know, routine stuff, it's not just every now and again. Um, they have to defuse bombs for you know, protracted periods of intense stress, and that's you know, four to six hours defusing a bomb under fire, when you know, you know that every move could be your last. And one of the first priorities of your charity will be to provide a thing called a normalisation break. What is that exactly and why do you think that's needed on top of the kind of respite they get already? Yeah, well, um, if you think a, a battalion of infantry soldiers would train together, um, deploy together and then return together and, and enjoy the support of each other while they're doing it, um, bomb disposal experts are dotted around the country, a bit like firemen or policemen, um, and they meet up for the first time in Afghanistan and form a, a four-man team, an incredibly strong bond, um, over the six months of their tour. But when they come home, they have to split up at Bryce Norton, and one will go to Didcot, one will go to Edinburgh, one to Portsmouth maybe, and they may not necessarily see each other again. Um, so they haven't got that support link? Yeah, yeah they can't go to the pub with so the person who was there at the time. What are these yeah. breaks exactly then? Well, after a few weeks with their families, we reunite the team in a civilian location for adventure sports and socialising. Um, and it gives them a chance, with you know, the help of uh, uh, psychological professionals, to talk about their experiences with the people who were there. With the death, the very high profile death of Olaf Schmidt in Afghanistan, a bomb disposal expert, it has never been higher in the public's consciousness. Why do you think it's important to actually do something now that might last much longer? Um, well, obviously, we, we, the, the support for, for, for bomb disposal is fantastic and we need to make sure that that converts into funds to put the support they need in place. And, you know, we need to do that now so that PTSD and things like that pop up 10 years down the line. The funds and the support will be there. 